Well, it's time to put the asparagus bed to bed for the winter. So I've been pulling all the overgrown grass out of the bed and cutting down the asparagus itself. I let it grow after the season. I cut it down for so long, but then um, when they start to get to where they're like seeding really fast and, and, and just sprouting, then um, I stop cutting them and I let them seed. You see, there's some seeds in there. I just let them drop and do their own thing. And um, then when it gets to this time of the year where it's starting to get cold at night, then I cut them all down and I dump that pile of compost that's in that wagon over there. will get dumped on top of here and then I'll dump another layer of hay on top, hay on top of it and leave it for the winter until they start to sprout through for next year. Pretty simple process. It's just a, a little labor intensive with this part cutting it down. Um, if I had a bigger field, I'd have to take better care of it. But because I'm kind of lazy about it at the end of the season, it ends up being more work for me at this time of the year, but it's not that bad. Anyway, so I'm almost done. I've cut all those off and I cut an entire stack off over here. And when I cut them, I'm cutting them just below the, the um, dirt level or the soil level, I guess you'd say. Okay, and you have to be careful. That's why I cut them back first. And then I pull out the grass around them because I don't want to accidentally pull out some of my asparagus roots. That wouldn't be very good. So anyway, let's get, I'm gonna get back to work and see if I can get this finished off. My knife is getting a little dull here after cutting so many of them. But I think it'll be okay just to finish off. There's a little bitty one in there somewhere. Oh, okay. Just wanted to be sure. soil is nice and soft right now because a few days ago we actually had some rain so it's not soft and wet now and it's just at a good point to where it's not dried out so we can pull it out pretty easy it's not too disruptive of my soil when I do it Okay, so there it is, all cleaned out, nice and pretty. The soil is just beautiful because um, the asparagus is a heavy feeder, so it gets a lot of compost over the winter and a, a lot, you know, and then that deep layer, so it just feeds all winter long and on into the spring until it starts popping up again. So this is out of the goat house in the chicken coop, and I'm going to dump that on top, so, and then through the winter, I also dump other compost household compost in there too so it just gets a whole smorgasbord of stuff all winter long so it'll you know get fed and then give us some good asparagus in the spring okay and there it is nice deep layer and you can see that was a lot more than it looked like because when it rained it kind of compacted it down but um, as it dries I'll kind of 
turn it around a little bit, get, let it get mixed up a little bit better, and then like I said, we'll just add to it over the winter, and I'll put another layer of hay, I'll kind of, you know, compost hay, compost hay, um, so we should get another batch of really good asparagus this coming year, I hope, because last year, oh my, or I should say this year, <laughs> oh my, that was some really good asparagus, so I'm looking forward to it. I, asparagus is one of our favorites.